All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about RGB color channels. Um, so we're going to first talk about what is RGB color channels, why we need RGB color channels, how do we use RGB color channels, and then jump into some coding examples, talk about some pure colors, uh, gray channels for the BGR colors, and then the actual BGR color channels to see colors for the individual channels. Okay, so what is RGB color channels? So when you have an image, uh, you'll have three channels usually. So here we have the blue one, the green one, and the red one. Uh, but with OpenCV, you actually have um, BGR instead. So the order is flipped, and depending on which program you're using, you may have different uh, channel order conventions. But usually these channels you could uh, there's a simple way to switch the different order of the channel with a simple command. Okay, so why do you need RGB color channels? So the different color will usually give you diff different information. And later when we talk about some HSV color channels, we'll see a very nice way to segment it. So um, segmentation is a pretty common thing that we'll need for colors. Or like in this example here, when you do green screen, like right now, I actually have a green screen behind me and it's doing some basic color segmentation. So the reason people use green is because it's not a very common color in most people's uh, skin tone, hair, or clothing. So they use that to easily segment out the background. Okay, so how do you use RGB channels? So when you have a picture like this and it gets converted into the three color channels, you'll have um, a matrix that has a depth of three, so the three layers is the depth of three. And we could actually use the individual layers, so each one is going to be a 2D array. And we could take that 2D array and do different things with it. We could convert it to grayscale like we'll talk about later on, or uh, you could look at the individual channels. Maybe there's like a histogram plot or something you could use to see the actual channels by itself one by one. Okay, so now it's time for coding and we'll jump right into it. Okay, so we'll start off by doing some coding with pure colors so we can see how uh, solid colors can be formed. So I'm going to import my CV2 as CV and then import my OS to extract my files, matplotlib for plotting and then NumPy for some basic uh, read and write too that I'll be using. So I can call this pure colors. And then as usual, if name is main. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and create some zeros. So I'm going to make a matrix of zeros. And maybe the size is going to be 100 by 100. And I will also make some ones. So we're going to see later on that we're going to add these values and then uh, multiply it to get pretty much zeros will be black. And then the highest, I'll take my ones, multiply it by 255 to get the highest value and then do different things with it. So. With my blue image, I could use cv.merge. Merge is a function that will combine uh, the different 2D arrays. So here I may have 255 times ones. And then the other channels, I'll have zeros. That will, that will show that the blue channel is just blue. So if I do plt.figure and then plt.subplots, I'm going to have a couple of different plots later on. So I'm going to do a two by three and then plot it in the first one. And then here I'm going to do plt.show um, and plot the blue image. So here I have uh, my blue channel, my blue image. And then I could do my plt.show. OK, so if I run this, maybe you want to add a title.
And here I'm going to call my pure colors. So if I run this, we notice that it's actually red, right? So what's happening is um, when you actually use the um show, the order will be different because with CV show, it'll show BGR, and then with this, it'll show RGB, right? So that's why with this, it's actually going to be for the red channel. So if we want BGR blue channel, then we're going to actually have zeros. And then here, we're going to have ones. So 255 times ones. And now if I run this, we should see a blue channel, OK? So that's good. And the reason why is because matplotlib's um show uses BGR. And then OpenCVs will use uh, the RG. The OpenCV will use BGR, and the matplotlib will use RGB. So that's why the blue channel is in the third dimension. Okay. So now, if we keep going, we'll see the other stuff. So uh, here we have. So if we want to, if we want to be consistent, we could use it, but. The reason I'm using the matplotlib is because I'm using the subplot function. So CV doesn't have subplot, so it makes it a little bit easier. Okay, so if I replicate this, and maybe now I want to see, so our next channel might be G. Well, here we just RGB, so we did B, and then now I'm going to do 255 times this. So I'm going to copy this, make this my second one. And here is my G channel. This should be green. So now if I plot this, we should see a green channel. And it's not green because we have 255. This should be ones. And this should be zeros. OK, so if I run this. We see green, and then I could repeat this. I'm going to move my ones here, and then this will be zeros. And this now will be my red channel. So I moved this by accident, so ones, zero, zeros. And if I replicate this part, and make this my third subplot. And this is my red image. So if I plot this, we should see all red show up. OK, so that's how you could plot all the color channels. And then maybe you want to have black and white. So here you might have a black image. If it's a black image, then what you what you're going to end up having is have all zeros instead. So if I do zeros here, and then maybe you have a white image, you have cv.merge, you're going to have um, 255 times ones. OK, so these will be all the highest pixel values. So if I do this twice, then if you want, you could put in a for loop, but for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to use it directly. So I have my black image. And then here I have my white image. So if I run this now, I should see my black and white images show up. OK, so black and white. And notice that with matplotlib, what's nice is I could hover over it. Um, let me actually move it a little bit so you can see the values. So if you look at the bottom corner here, if you pay attention to this, you can see the pixel values. These are all white, which is 1. The black is 0. So here, it actually, it actually converts the 255 from a high and low to 0 to 1. So the scaling factor is actually normalized to 0 and 1, as you can see. But if you're using OpenCV, it's normalized from 0 to 255. So you just got to pay attention to that. But right now, yeah, like I said, it normalizes it for you. So that um, is taken care of.
Okay, so sometimes when you're actually trying to plot the BGR channels of the image itself, um, you may actually end up seeing the grayscale values of the BGR channels. So what I mean by that is um, it depends on what you're trying to do, but sometimes you may want to see the actual colors. I'll show you how to do that in a later example, but this one here, I'll show you what happens when you actually try to look at the channel separately. So here I'm going to call this def BGR channel grayscale. So I'm actually not converting it to grayscale, but uh, when you read it and try plotting it, it'll be grayscale, and I'll show you what that means. Let's call this BGR grayscale channel. So here what we have is we're going to go ahead and read our file. So we have root os.get uh, cwd. And then I have my image path os.path.join. Pass in root. And then I have my demo images. And then I call it cute pick one dot jpeg and my image is going to cv dot on read and then i'll pass in the path and if i try splitting my channels to bgr if i do cv dot split here and pass in the image what this does is it'll pass in the bgr channels separately one by one okay so that's what that function does and each one will be a 2D array because it's one channel at a time. So I'm going to create some zero matrices and do np dot zeros like. So this will make the same dimensions as my B matrix. And then maybe I'll also get, get some ones. Or for now, let's, let's not worry about the ones. We'll just get the zeros. And perhaps you will want to plot it. So um, here we're just going to plot some of the channels. So here we have zeros. Um, actually, let's let's go ahead and plot the BGRs directly to see what they look like. So if I do plt.figure and then I do plt.subplot, I'm going to plot three. So if I do plt.show, and if I show the different ones, if I plot B by itself, and I do plt.title, title, and then this is my B channel, plt.show. If I run this, um, you'll see what the B channel by itself looks like. So right now it's um, showing the values. Sometimes you may want to convert it. There's a cmap command that will make it into gray. Gray should be in quotes. So this will show the channel, the blue channel in grayscale, essentially. And this should actually be in um show. So if I run this, OK, we can see this, this is the blue channel in grayscale. So pretty much the black and whites will show you how much of the blue scale is showing. So if I repeat this two more times, and then um, here we have my other channel. Maybe it's going to be my green channel. And then my other one is going to be my red channel. So if I run this, I would need to replace the plot numbers then that will show it in the three different subplots. So notice here, this is my BGR channels individually. But notice that is not red, green, or blue, right? So this is actually just showing, when you actually plot the individual channels, it's not going to actually show the colors. Um, because if you actually want to see only blue, only green, only red, you have to zero out the different channels. And that we will show in the next one. Okay, so now we'll see what the actual colors look like. We'll make a new function for that. And why not let's call it something that makes sense. So we could say like BGR, uh, channel, and then in color, okay? 
So we'll go ahead and call this function here. And inside, um, we're going to do some same stuff here. So we're going to read it, split it. But now we want to do some modification to the channels. So the modification that we'll do is we're going to, now we're actually going to use our zeros. So zeros equals um, np dot zero like and pass in our b matrix. So this will give us some zero values. And if I recreate my blue image to be cv dot merge, and what we're going to merge is our blue channel and then zero out the other channels. And then if I repeat this for the other channels, so we have b, g, r, but now it's going to be in the different order. So b, g, r, and then this one will be zeros, this one will be zeros. So this will merge the different channels for my BGR and zero out the other channel. So if I go ahead and try plotting it, do plt.figure. So inside my plots, I'm going to do plt.subplots and then 131 because I'll have three subplots. And then plt.show. Um, now I could show my blue image. And then repeat this part. So now this will be my second and this will be my third. So I have my B, G, R and plt.show to show the plots. Now if I run this, we should be able to see the different channels in color. Okay, So now that we zeroed out the different channels, we can see each individual channel in color. So maybe that's what you're expecting when we think of color channels. Okay. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.